welcome back to my channel teaching learning english so in this channel we mainly talk about ielts practice english language business communication other you know skills of professional writings and academic writings we sometimes you know uh, do some sort of interviews about some of the very you know current issues about those very topics and you know subject matters my name is chetra and i really want to welcome all of you to today's video and today i'm going to talk about uh, how can we make english language learning and the use of english language like as it is our one language so today more specifically i'm going to talk about 10 tips that helps our english language learning comfortable easy and it becomes very fruitful so those tips uh, in one hand makes your language learning fruitful meaningful and comfortable on the other hand they are also very useful for those people who uh, have been complaining about their language use and language learnings many people let's say millions of people they have some sort of complaint in with regard to english language learning some of they say that it has been already 10 years I have been learning English language in schools and colleges, but I have not got the mastery in English language. But, and there are many other people who say that it is uh, whenever I speak or I use English language at that time, I do not feel comfortable. However, it is very comfortable and easier for me to listen and you know to read. So while writing and while speaking at that time, I have lots of problems and I don't have that much confidence so that we, I, we can use English language properly. So there are many problems, many challenges, uh, uh, difficulties while using English language and while learning English language. So today, these 10 tips, I hope, will be very useful for you to uh, make your English language more meaningful and fruitful. So without any delay, let's move to the you know, 10 tips, what, how they can you know, make your English language fruitful and understanding. By the way, before starting the tips, let me tell you, some of them are about your understanding, your perception. Some of them are about what you need to do and how you can practice the use of English language. So let me see. <clears throat> the first one is, you know, many people have many complaints about their learning and using English. So if you have some sort of problems, if you have some sort of issues or complain about learning English language, feel it, that's natural. Millions of people, uh, they, uh, they also have the complaint about learning uh, English language, mainly about themselves, English language, and with whom they, they, they use English language. So having some sort of complaint, some problems, or some struggles while learning and using English language is natural. So accept it as a natural thing. So this is the first tips. Until and unless, if you can't accept that learning English language or using second language obviously have some sort of problems and we have to struggle while learning it so that's okay that's natural so take it naturally and go ahead okay first tip and the second one is sometimes about language about themselves about other people who use English with them you know we might have problems and challenges about ourselves about the English language about other people who use English language with us Sometimes, you know, our teachers are not that much satisfied with, uh, with the use of our English language. Sometimes the native speakers, they don't understand us or when they speak with us at that time, we don't understand them. So that is another problem. Sometimes, you know, our uh, mother tongue or our first language is uh, very different with the English language or very similar to the English language. At that time, also, the nature of the problems and challenges will be different. So everywhere. Every time you will have the challenges, problems, so you have to struggle and you have to go ahead through that scenarios, mainly with English language, with yourself and with, uh, you know, the people who use English with you. And the third important tip is, in this regard, how to make English your property is a big deal and a huge support in case of English language learning. So we need to understand that many people uh, are struggling while learning and using English language. So if we really want to make English language as our property, as our language, so 
if we try to do something like that or if we are trying attempting to make english as our own language rather than speaking like the british or american whenever people speak they make their pronunciation is a little bit different you know they really want to copy and you know mimicry mimic to the native speaker it is not necessary because english has become the you know global language so chinese people speak english differently than the indian people speak and australian people speak in case of native speaker also different than the you know american people speak so that you know you have to make english language as your one how your you know speech organs your tongue teeth lip vocal cords and alveolaries and how your uh, speech organs how your first language coordinate english so that way you can use it you can practice it in the beginning and if you need some sort of you know accent particular accent later on or, or pronunciation later on then you can learn those things later but not now so make it as your property as your as your thing rather than in somebody else that you are borrowing from him or her so that you need to uh, you know give back to him or her that thing and let's move to the number five if you are not comfortable with other uh, other people while speaking english you know do not worry that's okay you know uh, while using english language or while uh, you know learning english language with others or wh when we communicate with each other at that time uh, the person with whom we are communicating uh, may create some sort of problems and because of him or because of i might have some sort of problem for example you know while using english with my teacher i might have different you know problems uh, where which which but whenever i use english language with native speaker at that time i will have different problem obviously so it depends on the users that with whom we are speaking so we need to manage those things <laughs> you have to feel and realize that you are not uh uh, not a master even though you are a teacher like me it's not your first language there is no hundred percent in second language so the very important tip is you know you are not the master of english language because your mother tongue a person can get mastery we are in uh, tip number five so in tip number five you need to understand you are not the master of english language even though you might be a teacher like me and your job is to teach english language again no problem you might make mistakes because it is not your first language even the teacher do, may not know 100 percent and may not need 100 percent sometimes you know because it depends on the level of the strengths their need their demands and you know the purpose of learning english language so that matters a lot never think that you are the master of english language you can use english language correctly even though you are teacher you can't use it you can't learn it 100 percent because this is your second language the nature of language itself you know uh, confirms that second language can't be like the first language obviously first language is your first language so nowadays you know some linguists some critics often say that there is no guarantee of acquiring skills 100% in first language then there is no question of learning 100% the second language so we need to understand all those things uh, very well now uh, let's move to the tip number six understand that billion of people are learning and using english they are somehow like you so billions of people in this world their first language is not english so one billion more than one billion people in india and more than one billion people in china so in other countries also not that much but there are the people so who are learning english language is their second language and we need to understand that all these people have been using english like you and me like the learners billions of people are uh, you know are like us so they are learning english they are using english and they are making their life comfortable their profession comfortable so why don't we so never hesitate to learn to practice and to use english language that's very important for you and use english as your language so uh, welcome it to your family personal uh, as well as professional life so tip number seven use english as your property it's your language if it is yours 
you know it looks like very a uh, simple concept but it is very serious and very important you need to understand these things you know M make or use or understand english as your own language so welcome it to your family to your home and to your personal and professional life so why don't you use it as a casual or as a professional or personal way of communication so why i am encouraging this is you know more you use more you learn that's the main thing and uh, let's move to the tip number uh, you know eight keep monthly record of progress and identify the problems not immediately of every day but do it monthly so if you are maintaining all these tips from number one to seven obviously uh, you need to make some sort of record of uh, you know your problems some sort of record of your you know use of english which is not that much correct or which is not that much appropriate so where do you feel actually problems where do you feel uh, uncomfortable so those areas you need to make rec you need to make record and you know uh, do it so this is uh, tip number eight now let's move to the tip tip number nine now after keeping the record monthly not every day okay not immediately when you speak when you use or somebody speak to you so at the time of communication it is not good so monthly you can keep record and uh, make them in order which are the you know uh, at least the bigger problems or challenges for you to deal and which are more immediate and which are creating the obstruction and problems in your use of english language so those areas please check those areas and go to the consult to consult your problem with the teacher go to the you know the, the experts or native speakers with whom you can use those language so now last but not least tip number 10 keep learning keep practice because more you practice more you learn so do all these things or uh, apply from tip one to nine to make your english easy comfortable and use of english language you know encouraging it should be encouraging otherwise people you know start to communicate start to use and practice and later on they stop it so it's not a good idea so please maintain please apply tip number one to nine and then tip number ten says that keep practice keep you know using the english language uh, continuously so that your learning of english becomes very meaningful very useful and straightforward uh, i guarantee that within six months you can feel and the people actually start to see the difference in the use of english language thank you very much so i hope this 10 tips will be very useful and practical why don't you use these tips in your use of english language in your uh, learning of english language and please give me some feedbacks and comments so that i can you know uh, address your problems and i can be more specific and more uh, you know i can deal the particular issue that you are struggling with thank you very much have a great time ahead see you in the next video